By this point, it's too late for my opponent to try and defend because he's already making that run in behind, a nice little chip through bowl and an easy finish in the end. Hey guys, it's Jamoto here. I'm a professional FIFA player for Team Footwiz and this is my 4-2-3-1 tactics and instructions video. So let's get into the tactics. As you can see there, starting off in defense, we start with balance. The 4-2-3-1 for me is probably the most balanced formation in FIFA 22, but to start off my games, I like to keep it balanced. If I go behind or go in front, that's when you can toggle it. But for me, 50 width and 65 depth in defense is the best way to start a game. I've been toggling with my depth a bit in FIFA 22. 50 for me was far too deep and I've tried 80 and I felt like that was a bit too high. So 65, perfect in the middle. They're not too deep and they're not too high and that works perfect in defense. Going into offense, both my build-up play and chance creation is balanced, as you can see there. Once again, similar to my defense, I feel like that's the best way for me to create my attacks at the start of the game. However, if I'm losing, fast build-up, forward runs, those are things that I can toggle on to try and get a goal back. And then width is an average 50 in attack, four players in the box and low on corners and free kicks as well, so I don't get caught out on the counter-attack. Starting off with my instructions, we're going to be looking at my defensive shape where we have stay back while attacking on my fullbacks, stay back while attacking on my two CDMs, and come back on defense on all three of my center attacking midfielders. In this clip here, I'm going to show the importance of having these instructions set. As you can see, losing the ball in an attacking position of the pitch, you can already see with my two CDMs with a stay back while attacking instruction enabled, they are compact, they are staying back while I'm attacking. If they're on balance, for example, you could see my left defensive midfielder maybe helping out with the attack in this free space here, which would then leave me open in behind for the counter attack. And then as my opponent progresses the ball higher up the pitch, you can see here now the importance of having stay back on my full backs, the right back there, and my left back on the other side of the pitch as well. If they're on balance, for example, you can see them also similar to the CDMs in a higher position while I'm attacking. And lastly, you can see the importance of having come back on defense with all three of my attacking midfielders coming out to defense with intensity and helping out in that little triangle there, as you can see on the right side. It's gonna make it a lot harder for my opponent to get out of that. And lastly, for my defensive instructions, we're going to focus on the two of my center defensive midfielders having cover center and cut passing lanes on both of them. As you can see in a position like this while my opponent's attacking, it is crucial to have cover center on my center defensive midfielder here to block that pass already without me controlling the player to my opponent's striker. If he was on cover wing as a default, you could see him on the opposite side of my opponent's attacker, which then makes it harder to defend and he gets caught out through the middle of the pitch where realistically, that's not where you want your opponent attacking. As we progress the clip where my uh, opponent's attacking further up the pitch, the importance of having these features on our players is so they're making defensive-minded movements without us even controlling them. As we progress even further, you can see my left defensive midfielder there, as it begins to cut the passing lanes, there's that passing lane there, which is trying to cut, and also this one, which is covering as well. And I'm not even controlling him at this point, my opponent tries to play that pass and he is moving there to cut that passing lane and it's an easy interception. Now let's move on to the attacking instructions where I have get into the box for the cross on all three of my attacking midfielders. As you can see in this clip where we have the ball in a wide and isolated position of the pitch, I want my center attacking midfielder to make that darting run in behind because now my opponent has to make a decision. Does he come to the ball or does he track the run? As you can see here, as we progress, my opponent then decides to try and track the run, but it's too late. We play the ball in behind. And also, as you can see there with my wide attacking midfield on the far side, making that darting run into the box. And that's what I want in my attack. I want to overload my opponent's box, make it hard to defend, because then they have to make a decision. Do they track them or can I get that shot off? In this position, we get the shot off and it's a goal. So lastly now with my attacking instruction, I'm actually going to set one on my striker and it's not something that I usually do. I didn't do it last year in FIFA 21, but it's something that I've highlighted this FIFA getting behind on my striker is very useful to try and find those three balls in behind. Now, as you can see here in this clip, as I pick up the ball with my left attacking midfielder, I've already identified because I have this instruction set, get in behind. I'm already looking for it. I expect and I know where my striker is going to run. As you can see here, as we progress it a bit, I can already see my striker making that run in behind. And it's hard for your opponent's center backs even to track it by themselves. 
But at this point, it's too late for my opponent to try and defend because I've already got the instructions set. It's not like I'm moving in myself. He's already making that run in behind, a nice little chip through bowl and an easy finish in the end. So there it is. That is the updated 4-2-3-1 tactics and instructions by myself this year for FIFA 22. I have tweaked a few things compared to last year, but it's been working really well for me so far this FIFA. And I hope it does the same for you guys and you're able to get a few more wins in the weekend league.